clockwise, please, clockwise. Great. Oh, hi. Just about to go out and work on a nice new bike that a fellow worker here got himself. Integrated seat mass, which is kind of a fun thing. Well, first, it involves a hacksaw, so you know that's always a good time. So the integrated seat post is a, it's a newer way to design a bike with carbon fiber. Tricky thing on carbon fiber is the seat mass comes up and uh, from the bike. It's part of the frame and that's kind of nice. If you're trying to save weight and have a stiff joint, it's kind of a pain if you want to change your saddle height every day. Let's look at some of the old systems on this bike here. Carbon, sure. A clamp here, it works. We have the post, it goes up and down. Pretty common, we've all seen this. You could eliminate a lot of material here if you extend the frame up and then have the adjustment at the top. That's what some bikes have done, like right here. So, frame all the way up. The seat is here, so this collar goes around it. It's not inside and wedging, it's going around it. Why? It's stiffer. This is more rigid. It is lighter. That's the upside. Downside, you want to loan it to your friend. Your friend's not the same leg length as you. Not a lot of wiggle room here. So, uh, this is a brand new bike and we need to shorten it to the original, what the, our, our friend wants. 81 from 84. So we have 84 centimeters here. We're gonna come down to 81. So show you how we, we found the 84. So here I like to use a straight edge across the top. The reason is that's gonna create a nice definite little line on the hollow tech. We get a nice little slot. How convenient. So here we come up, 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 up. Boy, 84 centimeters. Pretty spot on, that's nice. So his other bike measured the same way, was 81. We know three centimeters, we know it's going to be 30 millimeters shorter. Let's pull this off and see how this works. They do give you a series of shims that look just like this. The shim lets the seat rest on it and this can be stacked up or removed for some wiggle room. So shim options are, are good here. So with everything out, we're gonna come down 30 millimeters. How do we do it? A couple different ways. We've locked down the 30 here. There's our 30. We can place this on top. That's kind of a sharp point. This is pretty much plastic. We can actually draw it across here, make a little scribe line. That's, that's kind of nice, that's, that's one way. But this company on the back side, it's kind of fun because they, they give us millimeter numbers, but you know what? I would still go ahead and uh, trust but verify. So you can scribe across here. And if there's nothing, another way we can, we can do this is just throw on some, some tape and then make a, a mark on on the tape. Also with carbon fiber, the fiber part, uh, fiber part of that uh, help keeps the cut a little bit cleaner. We're gonna take our caliper. I'm gonna come to the back side and make a line right here. And try and cut right at the blue. We don't want the blue to be seen. It's gonna go away, cut right, actually right below it there. And then again, the wiggle room with, with the, the different shims. So that's our three centimeters. And we're gonna use a saw guide here, the wider blade, so-called ceramic cut diamond grit here, uh, grinds the carbon fiber, narrow one for steel, steel blades. So I'm gonna install this, just eyeball it at first. But that's kind of awkward, isn't it? So let's tilt the bike. Oh, I think that's better. There we go. That is some easier working now. Plus, I get a better idea. When I lay my blade in, I want to see that mark. It's right there. 
Right there, I'm gonna snug it. I'm gonna check it. Check it twice, I think that's good. Why not a second measure? Why not, huh? I think we're doing pretty good. We're gonna come in with the hacksaw blade and cut this. But this feels kind of awkward, and it is. That's not comfortable, it's not good cutting. Bring the work down to where you need it. And that is the fun part of this stand. Cutting is better down here. So we're going to place this in here and we're going to start our cut. Or should I? Does anybody see what I see? Let's make some sparks together. No, let's not. This is the DI2. So what we're going to do is shove the battery down. This is not gonna make a good cut. So there's a wedge system on this one. I loosen the wedge and we're gonna go down, down with it. We don't wanna go extremely down. We wanna go deeper than our cut. So I'm gonna go about that far. There we are, because we still need to get at it from time to time. Now, all clear. Fire in the hole. Let's watch this blade here and see if we can see, see any of the material cut. Mmm, and I can also smell some. Important tip here, soapy water. It's gonna make the water wetter, and what it's gonna do, it's gonna cling to the surface. This really isn't to lubricate the blade. Blade's doing fine. Those bubbles there and that water is simply gonna keep down the particulate matter. We see the mushy paste in there. That's the stuff that's going out into the air and into our lungs, so we're, we're gonna keep that down. Yep. A little more being seen, that dust cloud. So that a nice change of uh, sound? Kind of the Doppler effect of uh, cutting tubing, isn't it? Getting close, those last few cuts are important. Do not force the blade through, you let the blade do its work. Almost lightly, lightly, lightly at the end. You can see it's starting to move. There we are. Very nice. Nice little piece of jewelry or something. Remove some tape. A little bit ragged there. So some emery cloth. There we are. Finish the ends there, no more lip. No more lip out of you. The battery is safe. Safe from the hacksaw. We're gonna wipe out inside. We're gonna snug that pinch bolt back up. And we're gonna install the seat gentle on that one. And back up. Shim in place, clamp on. 
we will secure. Nice light torque here. Four Newton meters, great place for a little tension device. That's enough, that's plenty. That comes out, that is ready to go. And that's how we cut. So we're done and well, you know, let's check. Eighty one, right to the bottom edge. Very nice. Now we're done. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy Tech Tuesdays, check out our Repair Help video library which has detailed guides to a wide variety of common bike maintenance procedures. And of course, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest videos from Park Tool.